Shalom Aleichem, live, not at the Grapevine Wines. This is the Kosher Wine Review. I'm Yehoshua Worth, and today we are here with the Cabernet Sauvignon from the Galil. This is the 2007 Gilgal, uh, also named after a 5,000 year stone formation in Israel that looks like this. So, this is made by Victor Schoenfeld, the winemaker from Yarden Wines, uh, also known as Golan Heights Winery. And the Golan Heights Winery has three tiers of wines. It has the Golan, it has the Gilgal, which is their second tier, which is this, and it has the Yarden Wines, the single vineyards. Uh, this winery is definitely known as one of the better wineries in the world. Forget kosher, not kosher, that's irrelevant in this conversation. This is the last of my sample bottle here. We had a beautiful tasting this last week. And this wine is a surprise. There's a lot more body and fruit for a, a wine at between $12 and $15 than a lot of other things in the market. It has a um, pretty dark tone to it. It is a blacker version of brick, is what I would call it. Touch of purple in there, not really. It is a, how should I say, a wine that will actually age for quite a few years. They say six to eight on the bottle um, of some of their white wines even. So the potential of this one is pretty solid. It's an 07, and right now we're at the beginning of 2012. Nice light red and dark, dark berries on the nose. It has a touch of that oakiness to it, but very, um, I'd say weak on the oaky in a good way for 12 months in oak barrels. L'chaim to my whole family here in our house today. And, um, Amen. call this a full-bodied wine but leaning at the medium to full zone of that if that makes any sense it is not an aggressively fruity wine it has well, a really nice finish you get a little bit of that little vanilla oakiness almost even this cocoa uh, hint off in the fur further direction it's got the red and black berries, uh, not blueberries when we say dark, ber dark berries, that's a rarity. I don't find much blueberries in some wines. It has great legs, it's got good viscosity, which means the richness of the wine looks to be able to hold up over time and aging. Again, this is a very large surprise for the price point of $12.99 to $15.99. It drinks very well now, should drink very well for quite a few more years and this vintage is almost over in the marketplace. Find it. Lots of love to you. L'chaim Vibracha. A very solid, good, full-bodied, dark fruit. It's almost sweet tannins. Nothing real heavy, heavy like uh, some of the French wines or Bordeaux. It just drinks well. L'chaim, this is Yoshua Worth live, not the Great Fine Wines. This is the Kosher Wine Review with the 07 Gilga Cabernet Sauvignon. Now I can do it with a 